Welcome back to In Focus Kentucky. On this episode, we're focusing on the dark world of human trafficking and the concerns that it poses in the state of Kentucky. Joining me now is Sergeant Tim Stokes of the Louisville Metro Police Department's Sex Crimes Unit. Thanks so much for joining us here on In Focus Kentucky, Sergeant. Good morning. And talk with us about uh, this issue of human trafficking. Uh, how big of an issue is it in the city of Louisville? Well, it, it, there's been some push to discover exactly how deep this issue really goes. I know that Polaris has gathered some numbers nationally, and it's a 30 plus billion dollar a year industry in, in the, the nation. Uh, there, we're working with the statewide human trafficking task force as well as the Louisville Metro human trafficking task forces that we've developed to try to get our hands on exactly how big the problem is. According to Polaris last year, there was just under 100 cases reported in Kentucky of human trafficking, and of those, about 40% were dedicated to Jefferson County, which would be the city of Louisville. So it is ultimately a, a pretty good size issue and one that we're going to further try to figure out exactly how big it really is. And you're telling me that you've been with the, the, the department for 18 years now, so uh, talk about the, this issue from uh, when you first joined the department to, to now and, the, and what you've seen. I just, the first about 12 years of my career, I rode in an area which was wrought with drugs and prostitution and things like that. And I saw a lot of the kind of the seedy underworld of, of that world um, and did what I could to try to get women off the streets into recovery centers, get their mental health restored, get their physical health restored, give them their dignity back through recovery programs and outreach programs. Um, and in doing that, it brought me a real fondness for doing the kind of work that we're doing now in the Special Victims Unit. Uh, about a year ago, the Chief's Office switched the human trafficking component of, of what we do in, in, in law enforcement to our unit. And I think that was important because our unit, uh, just dealing with sexual assault survivors in general, uh, having reported to the police, uh, there's been an issue with uh, not wanting to re-victimize them, re-traumatize them through our investigative methods. So we use a real victim-centered, trauma-informed approach to helping deal with those encounters that those women have had to face. And I think that bodes well as we've shifted uh, the, the responsibility for investigating human trafficking to our unit. And talk with me about this operation, Pretty Pink Tractor, um, and, and the involvement with the police department with that. We did a demand reduction detail uh, during a farm machinery show in conjunction with those dates in Louisville. And during that time, uh, we placed undercover ads on social media sites and were able to uh, gain contact with individuals who then made some type of deal for some type of sexual act uh, and then were actually showed up at the location where the undercovers were there and uh, we were able to take them into custody. Now talk about uh, uh, doing stings similar to that and, and just uh, being out there. Obviously, if you're a police officer, this is your job, but as a person having to kind of address this issue that's happening uh, in our state, but also specifically over in Louisville. It, it's really, as a, as a policeman uh, and as a father and a husband, it's, it's really very demoralizing because we have got a, a group of folks out there who are involved in the commercial sex industry, uh, many of them through no fault of their own, through addiction, through mental health issues, have gotten themselves uh, in a world where they are now forced into commercial sex industry. And to watch the um, people be moved that way, um, in, in so many ways it's just debilitating because it's, it's easier now, I think, in some cases to sell sex than it is to sell drugs. And that is becoming more and more known and we've really got to, to impact that in different ways. We've got to be able to help survivors and help them get out of that world that they don't choose to be in, as well as going after the Johns and those that are trafficking them. And talk about that. I know you can't uh, get into exact uh, details of operations and uh, the different uh, areas of that, but talk about uh, how you all kind of prepare for a sting, and especially with the Kentucky Derby Week, and I know that's a high-profile event and that uh, is a busy time for the police department as well. Absolutely. You know, the Derby is, is, is the showcase of Louisville. It, it, all eyes of the world are on Louisville, Kentucky. We have a festival of events that goes two weeks, and we should really be able to celebrate being Kentuckians, being Louisvillians, and there for the Kentucky Derby. Unfortunately, uh, there's a lot of work that has to be done from a security perspective and from a detail perspective, and uh, we're going to put some operations in place throughout the course of, of the Derby week uh, to impact human trafficking and the ability to freely move in that arena in Jefferson County. 
Well, Sergeant, uh, we appreciate you making time to join us here on In Focus Kentucky to talk about uh, human trafficking and the concerns that are happening uh, in our state of Kentucky, but uh, particularly over in Jefferson County. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Now, coming up, we'll speak with an organization providing a place of escape for many sexually exploited women across Kentucky. Stick with us. You're watching In Focus Kentucky.